from how to solve this nice algebra problem. From here, let's take 16 to this side, and this becomes x minus 3, or raised to power 4, a minus 16, equals to 0 on this side. Then from here, we can rewrite this as x minus 3 is to power 2, then everything is to power 2. On the law of indices, when this power multiplies with 2 before, then we can write this as minus 4 squared from here, and which is equal to 0 here. Then this follows from power square. When we have a square minus b squared, this gives us a plus b, then multiply by a minus b. And from what we have here, we have x minus 3 squared standing as a, then 4 standing as b. So this here becomes x minus 3 squared, then plus 4 multiply by open another bracket we have x minus 3 square then minus 4 close bracket which is equals to 0 on this side then from what we have when we multiply two number and we have 0 so it's possible the first is equals to 0 or the second equals to 0 so here we have the first case x minus 3 squared then plus 4 equals to 0 or on this side we have x minus 3 squared then minus 4 equals to 0 from here and from what we have when we take plus 4 to this side we call minus we have x minus 3 all squared equals to minus 4 here. Then we can take the square root on both sides. We have square root of x minus 3 squared equals to square root of minus 4. And here square, we cancel square root. We have x minus 3. And equals to here, we can write it as plus or minus root 4 times root minus 1. And here, this same thing as x minus 3 equals to plus or minus 2, and root minus 1 is i. Then from here, we take minus 3 here, we come plus, so we have x equals to 3 plus or minus 2i from here. So we have two complex solutions on this side. Then from here, on the other side, we can also solve this and write it as x minus 3 squared, then minus 2 squared equals to 0 from here. Now also we can follow the perfect square. From here, where a is standing as x minus 3, and this stands as 2. So here give us x minus 3 plus 2, then multiply by x minus 3, then minus 2 equals to 0 from here. That is here, this bracket become x minus 1. Then into bracket x minus 5 equals to 0 from here. And also here we have two solutions. We have x minus 1 equals to 0. Or we have x minus 5 equals to 0 from here. And here we have x equals to 1. And also from here we have x equals to 5. Now here, the solutions to this problem, we can write it out from what we have here. That is x1 from here, let's call it 1. 
then x2 we have 5 which are the solution then we have the third solution here from we have x3 and that is 3 plus 2i then we have the fourth solution here x4 from here we have 3 minus 2i so here we have these four solutions to this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell on also share this video give it a thumbs up and put a comment in the comment section see you next class and bye for now